Hello again everyone. Um, I decided to uh, work out problem 3.8 um, from the Sipser textbook. Now it's important to uh, realize that we actually did, it's a three-part problem, and we did uh, part A for one of the homework assignments. So I decided to go ahead and um, work out parts B and C. Now I'm about to pull up part B and a lot's going to come onto the screen. Um, so for now just pay attention to uh, the left part. So let me pull that up for part B. There we go. So uh, for part B in the problem we need to give implementation level description of Turing machines that decide the following languages over the alphabet 0 and 1. So for part B uh, our language is W, such that W contains twice as many zeros as ones. So the first thing uh, we should do is think about what kind of strings that uh, the Turing machine will accept and which ones it'll reject. So let's see here. So if we write down, oops, write down the languages that it'll accept. And then language it'll reject. So twice as many zeros as one. So it would accept um, strings such as uh, zero, zero, one, and one, one, zero, 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 zero. And then strings it would reject, for example, would be strings like one, zero, one, zero, which has an equal number of zeros and ones and one, 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 zero as well. So uh, right now I'm going to uh, work out an example. Um, over here I came out, uh, came up with the algorithm um, to uh, work out this Turing machine and I'm going to um, go through it step by step. Oops. Alright, so for this example will go with um, we'll go simple. So we'll use the string uh, 0, 0, 1. Let me erase this for now. Okay. So let's write that down in here. So got our string 0, 0, 1 and the pound sign. All right. And we'll start our head right here. All right, so in step one, it says we need to start scanning. Um, start scanning the string, and we need to look for uh, the first unmarked one. So if we go through here, go one, two, three, and right here, this is the first unmarked one. And if found, uh, we mark it and go back to the start of the tape. So right now, go ahead, mark it with an X. Right, and then we'll uh, go back to the beginning. So now we're going to scan the tape and we're going to look for an unmarked zero. And when that's found, uh, we'll mark that. And if no zeros are found, we'll reject. So here's our first zero. All right, we mark that. Uh, then uh, we while the head, we don't move the head back to start. We actually um, keep scanning the tape and we look for another unmarked zero. Right? And we have one right here. So if found, we mark it as well. So now we move the head back to start and we go to step one. All right, so we start scanning and we look for the first unmarked one. Well, as you can see, we have no unmarked ones, everything's been marked, so it tells us to go down to step five. So for step five, once again, we're going moving the head back to start, and we're going to scan the tape for unmarked zeros. And as you can and as we can see, there are everything has been marked, no zeros are found, um, therefore uh, the string has been accepted, which we know is true. Alright, so now we're going to move on to part C. Pull that up. All 
All right. So in part C, it asks us um, to once again uh, find the implementation level description of Turing machines that decide the language W such that W does not contain twice as many zeros and ones. So this is actually the converse of the previous problem we just did. So right now, let's once again write down the strings that would be accepted and the strings that would be rejected. So the machine will accept things like one zero, one zero, one, 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 and it'll reject strings such as uh, zero, zero, one. So it's important to kind of point out that the strings that will be accepted for uh, this part of the problem would actually be rejected by the machine in part B. And then here, the ones that were actually rejected, um, as you can see, 001, was actually accepted uh, by the Turing machine in part B, because this was actually the one we used uh, in our example to work everything out. All right, so uh, I'm just going to choose one of these strings. I'll go with uh, 1010, and we're going to see if it will be accepted by the Turing machine um, based on the algorithm I wrote over here. So here's our tape, 1010. One, zero. Start here. Right. So the first step asks us to start scanning, and we're looking for the first unmarked one which is right here. So if found, we mark it, and then we go back to the start of the tape. So we go here, we mark this, that one is being found, so we go back to start. So once again, uh, we start scanning. This time we're looking for our first unmarked zero. So right here, that's the first unmarked zero, so we're going to then mark it. Then we're going to uh, keep scanning the tape for another unmarked zero. So we're actually not going back to start quite yet. So right here, this is the next unmarked zero we see. So we'll mark that. There we go. So then uh, step four tells us we need to move the head back to start, which is already here. And we're going to go to step one. Now step one, once again, we start scanning. We're looking for the first unmarked one, which is right here. If found, we mark it. And then we go back to the beginning of the tape. So once again, uh, we start scanning. And this time, we're looking for the first unmarked zero. Um, however, as you can see, um, all of our zeros have been marked, and therefore, uh, we have reached an accept state, and the string uh, 1010 has been accepted by our Turing machine um, as we had expected.